Happy holidays! Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, December honestly is one long weekend. So, you know, even on a Tuesday, you're going out. We hope you are absolutely enjoying your December. Next time we'll be talking, it will be Christmas Day. So we hope you're excited for that. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lydia KM, and that's Lydia KM on all social media handles. My name is Dana DeGrazia. It's Hustle Goddess Online. Happy holidays. My name is Naomi Wamboy, W-A-M-B-O-E, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hope you're all ready for the holidays. And I am Joanne at yummymummy.ke on social. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, I don't want to make things awkward on this table, but it's a week to Christmas, and I know you guys already have my <laughs> gift. My it's, gift's ready. Like, yeah. Here's your gift, baby. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, no. thanks. So sweet, you know, but yeah. like you know, I just I'd like the physical gift before. Okay, before okay. and then for yeah. my That's birthday, I got you. Show. <laughs> for, for, for them, my birthday, ladies. Do no, two in one. Thank you. Two in one. Okay. Great, baby. Who told you to be born at December. Christmas? This is a problem with December, babies. Mm -hmm. We get cheated. It's yep. true. And sorry, what I meant. The first, um, the next, um, beginning of our week tea, it will be Christmas. Yes. That's yes. what I meant. As we understood you, because we your girl. Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. A couple of days, and to be honest. It's summertime um, in Kenya, so it's just like happiness and joy. Yeah. Like, who's upset in December? Yeah. Don't let anyone Nobody. upset you in December. Pregnant women, because it's so hot already, oh, yeah, and we are, we are ovens, mm -hmm. and now it's like you are an oven in the oh, sun. You deserve a holiday. Yeah, so it's crazy. We start with you. Exactly. Yeah. And then on top of that, we have to be here serving hot tea, you know, <laughs> to our audience. It's just yeah. so much heat. But today we are giving you just like survival tips for things mm -hmm. in Nairobi, whether it's to do with makeup, mm -hmm. dating, online shopping, literally everything. You are not even ready for hot dog. <laughs> I mean, we talk about relationships like throughout the year and they don't get any less complicated when it gets to December. So we always have to be bringing you some of the tips which can definitely help you in a dating situation from the first date to the relationship all the way to the breakup. And today we're going to be giving you some tips on the things you should try not to follow. Try not to follow while you're dating, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, oh, sorry, you should probably try to follow. Um, so the first one, date multiple people at once. Yeah. Who agrees? Mm. I mean, I, I kind of agree with that. I don't know in terms of like dating multiple people, but I'll be like talking to multiple people at the same yeah. time. Yeah. In, in this like, context, test the waters. dating yeah. is you're not official with anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, agree. I exactly. agree with that. The agreement of no monogamy, mm -hmm. so both of you can see multiple people if you mm -hmm. both choose. You haven't even started that conversation. Yeah, exactly. Yet. You, you really haven't even started. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. If you go to, on date one with someone, yes. you can go to date one with somebody else. Yeah. Like, as long yeah. as you haven't like established yourself mm -hmm. as this is just us. Get I think I kind of like agree with that but also the only problem is that i feel like women sometimes and particularly women okay it can happen with guys but like if you go on a date with someone then now you hear him like see, see him on a date so, with yeah, someone, you start feeling bad like okay so you don't really like me you just like many women you yeah. know kind of yeah. thing like mm -hmm. if you're not if you you're free to do it he's also free to do it that so don't take it personally and, and here's the thing yeah, i happens. feel like the stage of dating which you're in yeah. makes a difference yeah. right so there's a guy who i was dating and it was like three months we're just going on dates here and there yeah. he had traveled for a bit but i mean it was like consistent just you know talking 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 mm -hmm. for three months mm -hmm. and then he was actually open that you know we happen to be going to the same play mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was like um you want to go and he was like he was already going with a friend mm -hmm. and so I had to go because it was my friend's play then we met there yeah now the timing of how long we had been dating that is like okay if we, if we are still at we don't even know ourselves at month three like you can go yeah. but if that was like week one week two week three I was like yeah, yeah. we are still looking around mm -hmm. but after month three if you don't know you don't know I know I've yeah even month three we have gone far yeah that's yeah. too far yeah. um mm -hmm. keep dates short I understand that in the sense of it's longer like, than it, no no longer than ninety minutes. <laughs> okay, that's number Look one. If the guy is nice. if the guy is terrible, you're like finish this movie and then I will leave and that's fine. Yeah. But I feel like one of the next rules is it's like don't have intercourse on the first date. So I feel like that leads into if that date goes very long, the likelihood of intercourse happening. Like if you're dating and then suddenly it's midnight or one a.m., you're like might as well go home. That is what I feel I like this person is avoiding. No. I don't think so. Does it give an explanation? Yes, the reason is um, 90 minutes is enough time for you to know someone on the surface level mm. without going, um, like getting to them, know them so much and start, start getting excited and, you know, yeah. your mind starts running the longer time you spend with someone. Yeah. So 90 Ooh. minutes makes it like, 
I've got to understand you, but we haven't shared too much intimacy that I'm going to start going home and dating about. Yeah. Isn't that dependent upon the oh type of date it is? That's the thing, exactly. Because we're going like movie, movie and dinner. Like the movie is going to be the one yeah. and a half hours. And then now you're going to need to go for dinner and then yeah. I'll actually have a conversation. Two so hours, I guess it depends. Hours. Yeah. It definitely depends. But I feel like mm. I'm all for the sentiment. If you're trying to keep yourself a bit, mm. be able to make like a sound decision, yeah. try and keep it as light as possible. Yeah. So there's no for it to be spoke all Just, night, yes. chatted mm. all night. Yes, I'm going to try and speak past mm -hmm. some of these because. Yes of time and be upfront about wanting a relationship take full stop if that's what you want mm -hmm. do not wishy-washy about it if he says you know right now i'm just seeing what mm -hmm. I want a relationship, and if that's what that's not what they want, and they're honest about it, don't try and convince them. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah? yeah. But on the first date, mm. if if you if you discuss it, and he's like, you know, right now, even if he you don't ask him, and he just slides it somewhere, like you know, oh, you know, right now, you know, life is just like you know, chilling. I'm just having mm -hmm. fun. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go have fun with I Jessica. I feel I I agree Becky with that. With I yeah. agree with that too because. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't want to, like, if it's like me and I, I just got out of a relationship, I'm going to straight up tell you, I just got out of a relationship, I'm at this place in my life, yeah. I'm not looking for a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Like, be and upfront about the it. The big things, try and talk about it as early as you can. Like, yeah. if, as early, you know, mm -hmm. get the, the vibe, obviously, yeah. but if you can speak about the important things to you, first, second, third day, you don't need to waste your time for fourth, fifth, and sixth. True. Um, avoid talking about exes on early dates, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. yeah that is a... Yeah. If you've been asked, <laughs> yeah. question. Yeah. I heard yeah. you used to date Nani. And then, then, and then keep it light. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, don't mm -hmm. like, you know, oh, wow, the way you lifted yeah. the cup yeah. was like it's James. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Don't. Let me tell you what happened with James. <laughs> It needs to be surface level yes. knowledge, exactly. if yeah. anything. Yeah, um, the next one is pay more attention to follow through than advanced planning. A lot of um, women especially feel like, who do you think you are to be calling me like in the morning and ask me for a date on Friday? But this article says, be more observant yeah. about when he makes a plan, does he follow through? Mm -hmm. As opposed to he's making it late, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And, and I, people have busy schedules. And I also appreciate that because it's so funny. Women want to, a lot of us say, Oh, you know, what are you, what do business do you have booty calling me? It's June 11. And they're like, but we're not spontaneous anymore. You know, I want this yeah. romantic thing. Why yeah. can't, why, you know, why can't you call me kind of like this? I, I actually appreciate that because that's also a character thing yeah. where the character of this person is he will follow through in a plan that he makes, it's even true. if he might not make the plans as much as you want them to. Yeah, yeah and that's absolutely. to be made a very big distinction between that and a booty call. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big yes. distinction. Yes. And yes. booty call is the hours a person is calling you, expecting mm -hmm. you to be free. If mm. it's past a certain time, you know what he's asking and for. And the state he's in. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Slurry yeah. Slurry yeah. Slurry it's true. And, mm -hmm. Don't feel obligated to send a thank you text. Now, we talked about this one. <laughs> we we won't so call strange. it thank you text, but it's like the at the end of the night, at, um, you know, I had a really good time, or mm -hmm. however you yeah. want to articulate it. Mm -hmm. Don't feel obligated we think it's polite mm -hmm. and like just courteous i feel like nice. i yeah. personally feel like i sent them when i was dating because i wanted to have a conversation i don't know a lot of people who send them and then want that conversation to end it's like you like this guy you want to keep talking so you send a text hoping he'll respond to it no when i get home and yeah. i haven't died i just want you to know that's it yeah. yeah yeah like oh it's God, like you no, know i had a good time time um, and it I'm was home. really nice Good. to nice and then that's yeah. it. Good Even night. if unless you punch me in the face um, <laughs> in the day, well, yeah, I'm no. gonna do that. Maybe yeah. I, I don't like you for my own special reasons, mm -hmm. but maybe I enjoyed the yeah. food, if not you. And you can <laughs> tell now a lot about a guy about, from how he responds because now you text and then you, you say goodnight and he's like, hey, so what are you wearing? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. that's the thing. It's yeah. disappointment. Yeah. I know. Like, oh. It's also a test. Um, give them two weeks to reach out again, and we're gonna say two weeks to say. If you go on a date today, <laughs> I know I don't agree. If you go on a date today and he doesn't, you give him two weeks to respond. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I can't even finish that long. sentence. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Me, honestly, I feel like if a guy is into you, what is he waiting two yeah. weeks for? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. No. If he's into me, he's gonna we're gonna like talk tomorrow. It, yes. And and it's not necessarily right. like like go on another date like tomorrow, but like at least chatting will still be chatting. Yeah. Yeah. We'll still be like yeah. two weeks. Put no, I'm sorry. Aside. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like men are really clear yeah. on yep. yeah. how they go Absolutely. about things when they really want them. Yeah. And a um, um, million of things that were not correct in my past relationship. One thing that he really taught me and he learned, he taught me to expect is consistency. Yeah. Like yeah. we start talking today. There's a day we didn't speak in the beginning. Just one day he was like, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I need because you know what you want. Mm -hmm. But two weeks you haven't heard about yep. me. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many things would happen in two weeks? Yeah. Anyway, I'm um, wait at least a few days to have sex. That's completely up to you what you want yeah. out of the situation. 
decide. Yeah. Let me just say the last two. Don't freak out about who pays. We three disagree. <laughs> um, feel free to do some of the planning yourself. I think that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I feel like you can be like, oh, today I want to do this and mm -hmm. have your own input yeah. instead of always having him is, do yeah. what you want. I feel yeah. like if yeah. I invite yeah. you out on a date, though, the, I am going to pay for the date. If I say, hey, this is like, let's go paintballing. It's a really fun thing. I would pay for it. I'm sorry, guys. In the beginning, it's like mm -hmm. he's the one who's asking. Um, eat whatever the, asking. the hell you want. Girls yes. don't want to eat things that are messy or mm -hmm. weird, or maybe they don't want to look like they eat a lot. Yeah. But <laughs> be who you are. Be who you are. Yeah, be I don't have you know, I'm going to eat my nyamachoma right there. Like, licking it off really, the bone. With this, with this hey, makeup done, yes. then you have those lines. When it comes to like nyamachoma. Joker, uh, yes, I will. Like <laughs> no. Um, you, you know, let's make up you know, on a first date, though. Exactly. I'm not going to go full glam on a first date. I'm what? sorry. I'm not going That's to... when you go full glam. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's going to happen for mm -hmm. you to need to take mm -hmm. it off, mm -hmm. right? I need to know if he likes me when I'm, I when I'm ugly mean? eating. He exactly. has to like me. No, yeah. trap him, then you can know after. It's true. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Lady, we are not for trapping. But anyway, <laughs> no, we're not for I love that. I love that list. So I hope you two have taken notes about it. There's so many things. I've already trapped my man. It's about him. I mean, three kids in, I don't think he's going anywhere. Anyway. So to, on to something that we also need to be careful about this holiday season. I feel like dating, definitely you need yeah. to. Mm -hmm. But last week, so something happened to one of our friends who works with us. She got conned. She got oh. scammed online. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was trying to buy a phone and she went onto this page. It, was, it turned, out, turned out to be a really fake page. Yeah. And like she had already sent her money and then she lost her money. Yeah. So we thought it would be really important to come on here and talk about like some of the scams that you find. Because in Kenya, yeah. me, as in, at every level. people are just trying to steal your money, which is just, yeah. it's so unfortunate. So there's three like main things that you know like online especially yes. that you find like people are always um getting scammed have you guys ever gotten conned by the way a million uh, times well my mom got conned yeah of yeah. how much money yeah i think it was like 12 12k it was for um getting a car yeah oh. yeah like you know like bring the car because my mom didn't want to have to go all the way there mm -hmm. so they were like obviously we're not going to bring it without you sending yeah. oh, that man. thing you and their, their their ad was in a national paper oh, no. wow. that's crazy. No. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. like yeah but just those ones for like like when i first came to kenya mm -hmm. just those ones where people were like Oh, um, I need this for school, or my my something just oh. died. Mm -hmm. Like, or mm -hmm. no, that one with the empesa thing, where sh where um, they they tell you mm -hmm. that they they, they sent you money, sent. and so and I you, sent it back, what? and I was like, oh, but oh, I didn't check my balance when I first got here, and yeah. it didn't yeah. work. Okay. Um, I've never thankfully fallen for like an empesa scam or anything like that, but mm -hmm. I've definitely mm -hmm. been like. I've even like met the person face to face and yeah. then they've scammed me. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> yes. For me, nothing really, but it's also just like sending someone money, then they're like, oh yeah, I got I got the money. Then they're like, I'm gonna send it back just now. Then they switched off yeah. their phone. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, so three main types that are like online, which I think this many, many Kenyans fall for this, especially because people are needy. Yeah. One is scholarship fraud. So you oh, know yes. how poor everyone is looking for a scholarship, you're trying to go abroad and what. Yeah. So especially if you come across these scholarships where they tell you, you need to give in your financial information, you need to pay a registration fee and you'll get the scholarship mm -hmm. if it sounds too good to be true it's too good to be true mm -hmm. like you're not gonna get that scholarship mm -hmm. the second one is online shopping Ugh, this is the one now this is um, mm -hmm. the one that unfortunately our friend fell for yeah. Yeah. but like if you go onto a page that you just feel like something is fishy like the mm -hmm. prices are too low mm -hmm. the, the the deal just seems too good mm -hmm. and that you need to pay like upfront a huge amount of money mm -hmm. for well, me that's could, that's yeah. the mode like yeah. you know because sometimes like you get some really good deals online yeah. but when they're telling you send 50 percent mm -hmm. of it and i have not physically seen the product yeah. or yeah. the shop no. or you know or yeah the the photo that they're using online or you know you can obviously it's tell when it's abroad when it's yeah. a clearly an advert or something yeah. like that mm -hmm. or you know the white background and phone there it's like if i don't see a phone in your hand next to your face or something i know you don't <laughs> or have especially it. like on yeah. instagram when you can tell like these this place is buying their sites or mm. their likes yeah they're yeah. buying their too. followers exactly. buying their for followers. me especially if i'm if i'm shopping like on a site it has to be first uh, like a site which i know many people have bought from mm. or like mm -hmm. a friend has told me i got something from yes. there so then i know that yeah. it's you know for mm. real mm. man yeah there's a point careful. you made yeah. by the way when our friend was calling she mm. said if you if you want to know if a site is buying followers mm. look at the ratio between how many people follow them yeah. and, and the, likes. the likes because this page was like fifty thousand mm -hmm. followers but their likes were like, like 90 100, 100. Yeah. so 
thing. And they had also disabled their comments under their Instagram mm -hmm. page uh -huh. so that people who had been con couldn't come and yeah. actually yeah. comment. A business so wants feedback. Exactly. Cheeky. And, Cheeky. and yeah. then the last Cheeky. one is related to the first one about scholarships. It's job scam. You know mm -hmm. how these people say, oh, oh you'll yeah. come for an interview, then you go for an interview, like a fake interview because it's just like some office in Tao which yeah. they have rented. Mm -hmm. And they tell you pay, you know, 2000 and we'll guarantee you a job, you, which is so no sad. No one ever has how to pay. Exactly. Because, you know, so many people are unemployed, so people are desperate to yeah. get jobs yeah. and it's so unfortunate people take advantage of that like it's honestly true. and especially horrible. in the yeah. media industry i'll speak because i go to commercial modeling auditions yeah. you never ever have to pay for an audition and if you have to it's not worth it and i saw a really big agent speaking about this on tv yeah. loudly and saying that they charge for their auditions uh, because mm -hmm. what they want is like they want to remove so the, many people the, from the coming so they are yeah. charging it so that if you really are into this you mm -hmm. will either way i feel like it's not worth it no it's not worth it because yeah. it's an exchange you want talent i want a job why are we why then you've got to pay me too yes yeah, you know exactly. no it's not fair i don't think actually no i remember i think another time i was trying to audition for for uh, uh like a plus size modeling gig mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they were like you have to come and you have to pay for a portfolio photo shoot i was mm -hmm. like but i have so many of my own photos they're mm -hmm. like no it has to be taken by their photographer mm -hmm. in their studio and you had to pay like Three thousand or something like that, no. but I was like, Lies. Oh, I mean, yeah, right. Lies. And I was just like, yeah. So please be careful of these things, yeah. especially yeah. over the holidays. You see something you're like, oh, my mom, I want to take this to my mom. Mm. I wanna... Just mm. please be very careful. And, Go to the shop if you yeah. must. And even yeah. you know, I feel like people tend to fall into scams and stuff because they're like, oh, you know, it's just a thousand, it's just three thousand, it's just this. And then you know, the thing is, is you got to think about it. they're pulling this on a, a hundred people. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's like you should unexpect it. Like that's not a lot of money for mm. someone. But what I'm saying is, is people tend to be more trusting when it's a lower amount because they're like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, I could spare this. It's it's for a good cause kind of thing. But at the end of the day, even if it's a small amount, you have to be weary of everything that you don't aren't familiar Absolutely. with. Yeah, mm -hmm. most definitely be careful. Mm -hmm. um, you know what's another one? You know the Nigerian scammers, like when they're like, I have 10 million, but I need you to send me a hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and, and then so I, and then falls with that anymore. And yet, you know what? People, people get and conned. yet they've sold an airport. People recently, get conned so. all over the place, and yeah. it's sad but that's unfortunate that's how it goes so we've talked about dating rules we've talked about scamming rules here's a rule um, this is a rule about how to slay your face without wearing any makeup like this holiday you know it's hot outside makeup's running down your face sometimes you sometimes you just won't want to wear makeup yeah so right, these are some what day are you gonna uh, wear girl I, I wear makeup <laughs> so number one is exfoliate twice a week i've heard of this one i slack at it mm -hmm. but do you guys exfoliate Shame. i exfoliate once a week mm -hmm. um, because sometimes um i feel like it can be too, too much, much for your skin yeah. to have yeah. that deep scrubbing like yeah, yeah, yeah. once a week i think mm -hmm. Yeah. But these days you can use like chemical exfoliants, not mm. necessarily like physical exfoliants. Yeah. So you don't have to have like those, those little things. things. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's different it's from toning. Point. It's exfoliating mm. different. Yes, yeah, exfoliating is very different from yeah. toning. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's very different from Tony. <laughs> I apologize. Um, the next one is keep your smile bright. So some lips, lipsticks will help um, mm -hmm. to make your teeth look whiter. You know, if you wear like bright red lipstick. It'll, but anyways, brush your teeth, honestly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take care of your teeth. Take, take care of your teeth. Because yeah. that's just nasty. Yeah. Um, and taking care of your lips. Also exfoliating your lips because, you know, they get dry. Make sure you stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. All of that. Yeah, That's it's true. always a good way. Mm -hmm. um, brush your eyebrows. If you're not going to wear any makeup and you're not going to use the pencil just brush them a little bit don't be out here looking bushy <laughs> like, like, I know they're, they're like least. throwing up gang signs <laughs> like I'm sorry Lydia when you don't have your brows <laughs> I don't have brows I don't have hair yes. I don't how like, can they be messy I don't no. have hair like without my eyebrows it's where are they though? I don't Where have any. This is my mom. My mom's hair is thin. You know, oh. my dad gave me the one in the head, but my well, mama. Is, she's just the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. She gave you other things. So please take note of that. Yeah, too. take note. Take note. Take, 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 take note. Be your own people. Be your own people. <laughs> so the next one is moisturizing correctly. Make sure you're moisturizing daily. Yeah, yeah. It's always a good thing I, for your I skin. I will say that mm. this is a proven mm. milking jelly. Yes. 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 Wash your face properly and put some yes. milky jelly. Don't, yep. don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I'm telling you, works wonders. For me, I don't, that's my moisturizer. Mm. I 100% disagree. Mm. I hate milking jelly for face. Mm. I feel like it just puts, it like puts a barrier 
over your skin so your skin can't even exactly. breathe but properly. this is why no. this is the thing it's because no. she yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take a little bit and just moisturize for moisturizing or, purposes or invest, not for shining or it's, invest in a high quality moisturizer it's actually if also that's not available exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's actually Milky also more about time mm -hmm. funny enough mm -hmm. even when you're moisturizing your body the best time to moisturize your skin in general is when you're freshly out of the shower and you haven't mm -hmm. even left yeah. the bathroom yeah so even for your Wait, face the have reason you wiped your face though Huh? Yeah. You no, you, what you do is you, you dry your face on a towel that's separate from the one that you use on your body. Preferably, if you can, you put toner on it, and then immediately after you put toner on it is when you moisturize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you and have even, one towel, and it's even this says, <laughs> even this says, like, when you're moisturizing, not to let your face fully dry before moisturizing. You should it's just pat it. Like, have just some pat moisture it. on oh, there. Blunt so yeah, exactly. I know Lydia is there, like, 100%. <laughs> Scrubbing her but face. But your skin is still prospering, so... I'm going to give my tips on skincare in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is eating right and hydrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always drink that water, is, and it's just healthy for your body. Tip. It's true. Um, and the last one is getting beauty sleep. That yeah. doesn't mean sleeping 24-7, day and night. Naomi. But get, I know, right? That is right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, but you're from, I'd be like, I'm sleeping for my skin. Yeah. But look mm -hmm. at my beautiful skin, guys. Get enough sleep. Yeah. Very true. Very Feeling good. Get enough sleep. Um, exactly. Other things which honestly help your, um, help your skin, mm -hmm. stop being mean to that girl. Yeah. Stop exactly. wishing evil on others Amen. um stop looking at other people and just having a hateful heart mm -hmm. you can have all the skincare you have but it's coming from in here <laughs> your <laughs> pimples <laughs> are coming from the from gut the soul. and there's nothing you can do about that it's just true having being stress-free being a positive person just just giving out positive energy so you're true. gonna look good and you're gonna feel good so mm -hmm. in addition to that because sometimes that isn't enough for people like me who actually have like cystic acne mm. like hormonal acne and stuff Getting help like medication is never a bad thing, but like the tips Naomi said, those are sort of the cardinal rules of skin care, you know? Yeah. Hopefully you follow them because we look good and we follow them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, moving on from skin care, even though I actually could probably talk about it for the next million years, I'm really into it. We're going to go into, I mean, just... The favorite, the best, the whatever you want to call it, it's time for Ask the Girls. What this Ask the Girls is about, and as you know, we are so appreciative when everyone comes together and is able to give advice, but we love when you specifically, hey, hey, hey you, gets to send in whatever you need for your problems, for your comments, for your concerns. This one was sent in. It's actually just sort of something that was found online, but it's, it's hot tea. So I found the DNA test results of my three kids in my husband's closet. Although all the kids are his biological children, yet, 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 bleh. although all the kids are his biological children, yet I feel betrayed. I never cheated on my husband since we got married. I don't know why he took that decision. Should I confront him? Yeah. So, should she confront him, guys? Yes. I yes. mean, yes. it is yes. tough. If it's something which is which is upsetting you right now, you should definitely confront him. Mm -hmm. But don't confront with that. I found this. Oh my gosh, how could you do this to me? Just mm -hmm. confront with that. So I was looking through mm -hmm. and I found this. It has made me feel this way. Mm -hmm. You know, like I personally feel whatever. I don't understand why you would feel the need to do this. And then give him a chance to explain yes. why yeah. he did what he yeah, did. The mm -hmm. seeking of the explanation is yeah. the key here. Like because of course if you're already angry, if you, I, just from the reading, mm -hmm. I can just yeah. hear you shouting. Yeah. Um, yeah. And of course, it's because you know you're using your own way of ration, um, of reasoning to judge what he did. Mm -hmm. So if you sit down and hear what he has to say, yes, yeah. we said that we did make this point that for you to have no reason, you know, and we're talking about. You have never, as far as I know, mm -hmm. thought that I was cheating on you. Yeah. The only other reason you'd think that is from your own insecurity because of your cheating. own cheating. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. 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 So that might be a thing to consider because a suspicious mind is because they're doing something suspicious, I think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you could not you could, always, not yeah. always maybe he's just insecure. Maybe he's yeah. you're insecure yeah. because maybe maybe it could be something that happened in his family, like maybe yeah. they found out their dad yeah. was not their biological dad. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you should probably just go into it with a completely open mind and yeah. just being open to listening to what he actually has to say before yeah. you blow yeah. up. Yeah. Even yeah. insecurity. I, yeah, no, no, no. No, I agree with Lydia. Yeah. Honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like men, when it comes to men, like their cheating game is strong, but <laughs> when they feel insecure about it or they feel like 
like, oh, maybe she might know, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. I feel like he's very insecure, and yeah. he is probably the one cheating I mean, on I her. I think it, it may not necessarily come from the place of he has to be cheating, it but it could just true. come from the place of sometimes people are also, like, in your ear about things. Sometimes the people surround you and like, that baby doesn't look like you. Why are you even still with her kind oh, of thing? Yeah. So it I doesn't mean, have to be in, it doesn't have to be insecurity mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm cheating. She must have. Yeah. It could have been, like, you know, external forces kind of thing. That's the point. And also, a lot of people who are actually insecure to the core, it's just who they are. It becomes yeah. like part of how they deal with things. Mm -hmm. Remember one of our friends told us that she dated this man who basically the mom left them at a very young age. Mm -hmm. So his entire way of communicating in relationship is please don't leave me. Mm -hmm. And because Too he's well. so insecure of being left, mm -hmm. he, she told us at some point he had to kind of physically make sure that she couldn't leave. Yeah. where she was oh, boy, because yeah. he wasn't a hundred percent sure that she would be back because of the trauma that happened to him mm -hmm. but if your man has gone to something like this maybe if it's truly about insecurities and it's not about him cheating you probably have seen a few other signs about insecurity yeah. because insecurity is not mm -hmm. really like mm -hmm. just one thing it's yeah. a it manifests itself in so many ways through the relationship yeah. and also mm -hmm. like what would what did going behind your back and getting the test and whatever the results, I assume they resulted in the fact that he was the father and you were the mother, mm -hmm. but what exactly did it solve for him? Because the thing is, the fact that he even hid it and everything still means that that insecurity is still laying in there somewhere. It's yeah. just now he's not insecure about this thing, exactly. but he's looking for a reason. He, he's, he's searching. But me, this I don't understand. Someone needs to answer this question for me. Yes. We'll try. Why are men so bad at hiding things? Like, yeah, uh, if you're going to cheat, cheat properly so that you're not caught. If you've done a DNA test and you've already got why the results, why have you kept in your them house. in your house? Like, sir. Because you're good at it. Yeah, like, oh, why, why can't they just good. hide anything? We are good at hiding yeah. things yeah. so well that when somebody does it and it's, they're stupid about it, it's actually almost annoying. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if I had done this, I wouldn't have gone caught. So on, t on top of you being deceitful, you're also dumb. Mm -hmm. So I'm annoyed on, like, two layers here exactly. you know yeah. i don't want you to be dumb like at least be smart you're the father yeah. of my children and you're an idiot what's wrong with you kind of thing? yeah it's like imagine terrible. another man impregnates you and you're in a relationship then you keep the pregnancy yeah. test or in your drawer you know or like mm -hmm. texts on your phone to the uh, yeah. No. Come on, <laughs> clear things out. The reason why more men are in jail is because they get caught more. I don't feel like women yeah. commit the less crime. It's true. They do not commit less crime. They just get <laughs> caught so that. often. Anyways, you know? I feel like this lady, she has every right to be kind of upset. Yeah. Um, and I definitely think like you should talk to your man, mm -hmm. have that conversation with him. Absolutely. Yeah. And now you might not know him yourself, but he is m the man behind so many of your favorite singers. A real Willie Paul Bahati. He's a TV and a music producer. He's a radio host. He's a sound engineer. He's got so many things to talk about. Mm. But um, let him introduce himself. This is it's none other than Saint P. Yes. Mm -hmm. Karibu. Welcome. Oh, you guys there. Eh? You're very lovely energy. Oh really? Yeah. Thank you're you. Thank you. You guys energy. also I love because you know this is actually my first time to actually witness like kind of like a love, life thing happening. Yeah. Uh, so when you're talking about, oh, make up, or what, you know, like, wow. Okay, this is like, this have you learned something? Have you learned something? I have learned something, okay. yes. But by the time I walk out of that door, I think <laughs> I'll be like, yo, man. <laughs> you know, somehow I feel lucky to be a guy. Yeah, somehow it's a little I less do work. feel so lucky to be here. But funny it's enough, as work. much as it sounds like a law, it's part of literally what makes us us. We yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are going to moan about it, but we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, yes. um, first thing, Joe asked you a question before. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what is Saint P? How, why Saint P? And what's so, the name of the ID? <laughs> yeah, the name, actually, the name on the ID is Patrick Maru, mm -hmm. and um, you know I come from Dandora. I mm -hmm. was born there. I mm -hmm. uh, went to James Kishuru, then went to Coast. Mm -hmm. But the the name Saint actually came from. There's something that I learned as I grew up. Mm -hmm. I could see things, mm -hmm. you know. I could visualize things, and 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 I exactly tell it before they happen. Oh. Y yes. Mm -hmm. So in school. Um, when I realized that I had that gift, and some of my friends knew, hey, by the way, so before they before they get their cheeks, they're like, you're a saint. Uh, no, 
Patrick, <laughs> I have to, I want you to meet someone mm -hmm. and then and then you tell me something about her. Uh -huh. So I could meet them and tell them, ah, it's Katia Wow. Or, or, okay, just tell oh, her, tell, tell, tell this person this, 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 and, 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 and then also I would know, okay, Mondi is second born or she has a brother or something like oh. that. So, mm -hmm. so now people now started getting very, very scared about it. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, it was too funny because <laughs> they're like, yo, man, you got a name. So yeah. then now gradually now the name Saint now started coming because yeah. they're like, yo, you know. So yeah. sometimes I could write about something and it exactly happened mm -hmm. the way I wrote it. Do you see a Range Rover? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you see now later later you know now uh, uh, you know sometimes especially as young people you can have a really powerful gift mm. but then if you don't know how to deal with it mm. then it starts destroying you because yeah. now once you start becoming very very um, emotional about what people are doing to you and mm -hmm. then now you start messing their lives mm -hmm. up then I, I say your yeah. god man i think i don't i don't want this gift anymore because mm -hmm. it started being very very scary because yeah. i lost the um, the consciousness of even being human. You oh. can't be human if you know things. You mm. can't be, like you couldn't lie to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I would know if, if I would manipulate you. Because mm -hmm. I was also, you know a yes, I yeah. studied philosophy too. So mm. now, wow. because I was like a seeker, so I knew things. I could mm. manipulate you if I want you to do anything. Like, like well, it's, then it started being very, very scary. Because oh. now sometimes when you're in another element mm. and you start mm -hmm. experiencing mm -hmm. it, then you start losing this, and this one now starts not making sense at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after, the, after the show, I feel like we have to explore. Got to Energy exchange. Yes. Um, so, is music production something that you always wanted to pursue? No. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be an architect. Okay. I actually started drawing when I was 17 years old, and I've been so passionate about you know buildings, about drawings, mm -hmm. and um, when I cleared school, I couldn't. Um, I wasn't, okay, nearly because we're home. So mm -hmm. my dad is like, yo, man, you know, you are a big guy, so just leave my house. So at that time, I, could, I didn't have money to mm -hmm. go to an architecture mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And you know, the system of our, of our education is that yeah. you need to go to college. That's the philosophy I grew up in. You go to primary school, you pass. Yeah. You yeah. go to school, you pass. You go yeah. to college, you pass, then yeah. you get a job. Yeah. So now that cycle was broken. Mm -hmm. And as someone who was all place, I was like, okay, so what's the next thing that I could do? Yeah. So it's music. So started singing Tam Taivi, but then I realized that I was also broke. So now I didn't have, yes, I realized that it's I was hard broke. To yeah, because also producing is very, very expensive. Especially yeah. if it's, if, if it's uh, the cost is 3K and you don't have a job and you don't know where to get it. Mm -hmm. So I realized that I would actually observe a lot when the producer is making. Mm -hmm. And then I realized later that, oh, I actually told the producer to make the beat like this. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. there's this thing called a computer. I'd never seen a computer before, apart from movies. And I was like, wow, if I get a computer, boss, <laughs> I can <laughs> crack this yo. thing. It's any yo, man. <laughs> and then um, I had this uncle, my, my, um, he's called Bada. But also, he knew I was very passionate about music, and I really wanted to do music. But he said this: "Listen, you, uh, if music is not paying you ten thousand a week, mm -hmm. then music will always be secondary. Yeah. So you will get a job, mm -hmm. and this music, it acquired the second yeah. thing. So Black now butter. that's when now I went to cooking. So mm -hmm. I was a chef at Hemingways in mm -hmm. Watam. Mm -hmm. I worked wow. there for some time, and then now when um, uh, nearly foot a job." Oh, yes, ah, it was okay. Mm -hmm. So, but I got a job. I went back to music, mm -hmm. then architecture, and then now mm -hmm. I got a job at um, at uh, first I went to Zanzibar, then came back, and then I got a job at Homeboys, and then music started paying me ten thousand a week. So I left everything yeah. and followed mm -hmm. wow. music. That's that's a, that's mm -hmm. a really good policy. Yeah. yeah. So, ladies, yeah. this man he'll write you a song, <laughs> but he'll also cook, cook for you a meal. Yeah. But he's also going to build your house. Amen. Yeah, yes. You're going to yeah. basically and <laughs> prophesy. <laughs> no, 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 prophesy. Speak good things. I have to <laughs> ask though. I have to ask because. Yes. You know, I mean, we, we know now because we asked you where the name came from. Yeah. But how often do you speak about this gift that you have? Because it's kind of an interesting conversation starter. When you interact with people on a daily basis, are they yeah. aware that this is something that you carry with you? So when, when I came, because so many people, they don't know, you know where I come from or yes. what my experience was. Mm -hmm. So I realized that the biggest challenge, especially about human beings of now, mm -hmm. we are too scared of the spiritual, of, uh, of, yeah. of, of, of the spiritual. Yeah. You get so, no, we shouldn't talk about it. Because yeah. sometimes uh, I would actually, 
There are very few people who, who has, they have been able to see whatever weird things that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there's a time I remember I was driving and I had a friend and it was raining too hard. It was raining like I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. And I just said, you rain, you must stop now until I get home. And the rain stopped immediately like this. And she just wanted to get off that car because the experience, yeah. she's never <laughs> yeah. seen that experience yeah. before. Yeah. So there are people who, you know, um, I've, I've told them like, Yo, mm -hmm. uh, by April, I'm going to get this, you know, and, and they've been mm -hmm. part of that. That, that life, but you, you realize some other people are like, no, 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 you, you don't, it's don't start, you know, yeah. it's too scary and yeah. stuff like that. So usually that enables me now to be normal yeah. because you can have that conversation and then have people look at you in a normal way. Yeah. So, 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 so that, that even, even like six months ago, that's when now I started talking about it because yeah. I started having that conversation because yeah. now I had sufficient grace to actually speak about it. Yeah. It's true, amazing. Yeah. Um, now, I think I listed some of the names who you, um, which you've worked with, especially in yes. music. Yes. I'm not going to ask you to choose your baby, but I mean, <laughs> with, all, with all the big hits which yeah. you've had, which one do you feel like, wow, I really connected with this one particular mm -hmm. song? Wow, that's a very, uh, it's artists. a dangerous question. <laughs> dangerous. Because <laughs> they're watching. <laughs> but um, the thing about me, every person that I deal with is an experience. Because mm -hmm. I don't yeah. deal with them from a musical perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, they are friends, they are mm -hmm. my brothers, mm -hmm. they are sisters. Mm -hmm. But they are experiences which usually people say, if you come to my place and we are recording, we will have three hours of talk mm -hmm. and 30 mm -hmm. minutes of recording. And <laughs> you have to go home, then come back. Mm -hmm. Because it's much more than, so if, like let's say Kambua comes, it's you intimate. know, I enjoy the conversations. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, I worked with Kambua... Um, you know, I've worked with her from 2011. Mm -hmm. She doesn't take tea that has sugar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, from that conversation yeah. and, and the, the, the friendship and mm -hmm. the relationship we had, it's something that I enjoy. Also, Elani. Yeah. Elani are amazing. I remember they, um, there's this song that they did with um, this Ugandan guy. I know that's Chameleon. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And they called Dali. almost 10 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 people to actually record them yeah. that same day. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was from XYZ and I was so tired and my head was aching. And then I was the 11th mm -hmm. person they called. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're saying, man, uh, there is this opportunity we have. Do you mind helping us out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just went into the house, took the computer and took everything, went to record this guy is in a hotel in Westlands. Mm -hmm. And wow. later it turned out to, in fact, we prayed that. That was actually the first time to see these people pray. Because after the session, you know, we were like, yo, man, we have to pray. And mm -hmm. that's something that I value. Even I had tea, yeah. I could come up, I could be a man, yani, I was fasting for 10 days and yeah. then this is what happened. Mm -hmm. So those are things that I do cherish rather oh. than the products that come out of it. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. at the end Memories. of the day, products come every single day. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, having um, conversations like those mm -hmm. that enable me to look at, at that and say, wow, yeah. this was actually amazing. That's well, a really that's, powerful yeah, answer. I love it yeah. as well. Or, yeah. I always wonder with, with producers, because these guys of Kenna Jay Z and Beyonce, yeah. do you guys ever like get tired of being in the background? Because you know, like you produce this hit, but like people will only see the star, people the will only musician. see the musician. Like yeah. yes. you in the background who hardly ever gets recognized. Does that get tiring? Like do you ever want I to will, be in the I will, limelight? I will talk about it from a personal view. Yeah. Um the, the, there's I have I'm very, very afraid. Like, I'm a very shy person. Mm -hmm. You are? Yes, I'm you a very shy a person. <laughs> <laughs> like, I fear people, especially mm -hmm. if, let's say, I'm in a place where there are like a hundred people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be noticed. I don't want you to notice me mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. because. I want to live my life the way I feel. I want to enjoy, not yeah. actually live, enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. So if you're a big person, there's this limitation that you have. Mm. Oh, milione kana kwa mat, so you can't. Oh, ulione kana place flani. Oh, now you are eating chapondondo. Mm. So for me, to protect <laughs> that, yeah. I love not being there. Mm -hmm. Because it makes you invisible. I you just walk in town and people, and, and the, the thing is, yes, people know my music, mm. but they don't know me mm. per se, yeah. you see. So if you know me, you know me. If you don't know me, you don't know me. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes on a tembe even then you hear people talk mm. no 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 he, he can't walk he can't, no, he can't walk yeah. no 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 he can't be walking <laughs> he can't be like no 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 it's not him so, yeah. so i yeah. i love that yeah. rather yeah. than now i get it. changing my life now because of, of, about of that. yeah no, it's now you've made me want chapo dondo okay <laughs> can we not talk about food please it's been a long time so i have a yeah. question for you yeah um what is your take on the current like music like the current music scene yeah. like especially with the rise of like genge tone yeah. I, I love that because 
you know why I love it, and 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 I know so many people can <laughs> can start talking ethics and mm -hmm. and you know ethics. You know, it's not ethical, yeah. but I think um, one thing I will look at it from Kenyan artists have always been complaining: play Kenyan music, yes. play Kenyan yeah. music, play Kenyan music, mm -hmm. and these kids. They did not engage. They didn't have to engage in those conversations. They mm -hmm. just did it, yeah. and it resonated with where people were. Mm -hmm. So it worked. Mm -hmm. Right now, um, you watch Diamond's video. It's mm -hmm. hardly trend. It, we trend first, mm -hmm. then then he he comes in. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the right time mm -hmm. to be an artist. This mm -hmm. is something that the the only thing now we need to know is that now how can we make sure that it steers us to the to the right direction? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, I love that music mm -hmm. because it tells mm -hmm. us this is where people are. Yeah. And if you are wise enough, that's like that's a sign for us now to start. Mm -hmm. to, like I was joking with a friend of mine. Like even the government right now, they don't want this. Um, Reproductive health program to go and research if it's happening. No, they just need to yeah. listen to Gengeton. Mm -hmm. Then they realize this thing is happening, happening and how they can tackle yeah. it. Okay, it, well, it, yeah. I have a question because yes. we've talked about this before on the yeah. table. Mm -hmm. Like, between like, I'm not going to make you choose between ethics or Saudi soul, but like, you see, like, the music scene right now. Yeah. Like, do you see it as timeless or is it just a phase or is it for the Trendy. here and now? What do you think? Okay, I'll say this. Um, I love. Oh, uh, and I'm talking from my own personal yeah. personal view. I love evolving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a time um, I remember. Uh, I'd never gone to. I've never gone to college before. Mm -hmm. And when uh, my granddad told me, you know, uh, he started asking me, "Yo, I hear you're drawing good houses." Mm -hmm. And at that time, I had drawn a house called the Castle of Watamu. Mm -hmm. I had drawn it, and it's one of the most beautiful houses that I've ever worked on. Mm -hmm. And and I told him, yes, did you, let, let me show you the project that I did yeah. recently. And then mm -hmm. I showed him, it's like, wow, this is so amazing. Have, have you gone to school? He's like, no, I don't need school. Mm -hmm. Like, if I can do this, then I don't need school. Mm -hmm. And then my granddad told me, okay, yes, you are useful, yeah. but you're useless because if the experience that is needed mm -hmm. is one month mm -hmm. plus mm -hmm. a very stupid certificate, mm -hmm. you will not get that job. Yeah. So you need to go to school. So that now, when you say you are an architect, mm -hmm. you are actually an architect professionally. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was at Homeboys, I was like, okay, now I think I need to go to school. Mm -hmm. So I went to um, Nairobi Institute of, Te Te of Technology mm -hmm. to, you know, to go do my, to go ask if I could. And they're like, yo, I'm sorry, man, you can't do part time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, and I was so broken. I was so broken. So when I, w when I came to work, I was like, yo, so God, what's the next thing? Like, mm -hmm. am I still going to do music for the rest of my life to right. be depressed? Mm -hmm. So what I did was like, okay, so what can I evolve in? And right. I say, okay, mm -hmm. most of my friends are filmmakers, mm -hmm. so I mm -hmm. can actually start learning film so yeah. that I evolve, mm -hmm. so that the people that I bring into the industry, the yeah. people who say, I want to be like St. P, once they become big producers, who they are, mm -hmm. then I can be on another level, yeah. you get. So yeah. I get there, then I realize, oh, I can talk, and there is mm -hmm. a radio presenting job. I think I can do it, so mm -hmm. I evolve. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So for me, the question is not about, is it timely or is it uh, going Trendy. to last? The thing is, we are not talking about Banner Boy anymore in this country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And since that is happening, mm. then wale wenye wanataka mziki zenye zina last, wafanye mziki zenye zina last, sisi tuta create relevance yeah. until we are tuta. Yeah. Yeah. So is I, that I, sort of part of the advice that you would give sort of the generation of musicians now is, is focusing on what is it driving for us and the education and then also being able to transform with the times what advice would you give them I, I i think it's very important for them to transform with time mm -hmm. yeah. but also another thing i say uh, mind your language because yeah. um i always say this to most of the artists that come to record with me that mm -hmm. have let's say obscene lyrics yeah. Yeah. you you are going to have a kid one day yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those songs are the ones that are going to now because you are speaking words are life yeah so your daughter yeah. might listen might li not even listen the things you are actually speaking yeah. she may reenact them yeah true so what's going to be your attitude towards something that you created you inspired to create yeah. so yeah. for me i always tell them like think something that even in 10 years you won't have to shoot yourself on the foot yeah. you, you get and say oh my god why, oh why god. did i do most yeah. of my obscene lyrics I've, I've not released those songs yeah because i i had that 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 uh, consciousness of 
if I release this song, then 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 what? Yeah. How will my future yes. be? Mm -hmm. This has been an amazing. <laughs> Ooh, so informative. I've done so much. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. It's mm -hmm. time for game time. Oh. So this game is called the blindfold challenge. Basically, somebody gets blindfolded, you pick up a spoon and you take, okay, the ball's over there. You take the ball and should I? Come With the yeah. spoon. Uh, let me, Wait, what about our demo, demo. I know, come what about our eye makeup? We will have to suffer. Put the yellow ball um, in um, on the yellow On that table. Ta oh, it's on that table. Yeah. So basically, uh, on the right table, there, right Dana, here, the one. yellow. This yeah. is what Come, I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> so you're gonna blindfold so me. So basically, you take the spoon, put it in your There's mouth, ten seconds. pick up the ball, <laughs> and then go and <laughs> drop it okay. there. Can the, Wait, can the ball really? Be like, we, why do we need yeah. blindfold? Yeah. Why? Yeah, why blindfold? Uh -huh. Do we have to blindfold? We got a blindfold. We've got a blindfold. Then in ten seconds, you'll have done like and ten one. seconds. No, none. Ten is <laughs> ten. Look, do you see where the ball is? Yes, I can visualize where the the ball is. Get it in my mouth, please. Sorry. Difficult enough without the. Oh, no, I know mouth. it is. I think I'm gonna have to opt out of this game. I feel like. No. Yeah. I feel like okay, I'm falling. Sorry. Here we go, Joe. I can't even bend to. Pick Can I feet. touch where the ball is now? Can, Can she touch it? <laughs> like. Am okay. I? I start. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, oh. Wow. Ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You've got one. Yeah. You've got one. Go! Yay! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, come oh, on. Oh, guys, like no. Let's no, this, this is not possible. This no, is this is not possible. 10 seconds possible. is like nothing. I feel like no. if you're not blindfolded, okay. it's possible. Right, we're going to get 30 seconds. But I feel like we we want less time yeah. just without the blindfold. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Yeah. Can we do it I'm blindfold? done now. I'm oh, done. Oh, the plan is to make people go, fail. Sawa, <laughs> you can do it without the blindfold, okay, but it's still 10 seconds. I still go. Yes, so that one doesn't count. Damn, I was so close. All right, go. Wait. Are they counting? Wait. Yeah, there. No, not yet. Go. Go. Yeah. Oh, she uh, <laughs> yeah. Why you have me appraising? Pick up the ball. Uh, That's good. Okay. That you yeah, tried. Hey, 10, ten seconds, seconds is like, wow. Um, Even 30 seconds is like I'm nothing. Getting zero. I don't even uh, that. Try your best, Jojo. That's what we try can ask for. Try your best. You. I always do, babe. I always do. Okay. Live your best life. Be your best. <laughs> Uh -huh. Team Pink. I'm not playing. I don't want to put that in my lashes coming undone. Go. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. Yeah. In under 10 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, no 10 one. seconds, I don't think anyone can move uh, from one. At least no. we have one. At least. Yeah, yeah, we're winning at one time. Oh, You're it's me. Yeah, no, you, you can too. inspire. No, ladies, inspire me. Uh -huh. so, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's <laughs> very <laughs> slick. That's very <laughs> slick of you. Okay. okay oh, ladies good. first, of course. So. All right, you ready, sis? Ready. Ready. Oh, Go, Lydia! You could. You could stop Go, Lydia! Ah. Yeah. Impossible. That one is counted the book because I've picked it. Oh, yeah. Wow, mm. really? That's what they said. Uh -huh. Favoritism. Nail me. Hey. Favoritism. <clears throat> or oh, do better, girl. <laughs> I had one pick. It's like, is the game to put the ball in or not put the ball in because, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. okay, wait, wait to be told wait. go. Go. Go, go. Go, go. Yes. Go, ah, Nate. Go on, Nate. Nate win this. Nate win this. Oh. Oh. Nate win this. Yes. Oh. 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 She had it picked. So she had it picked. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That, that yeah. I had it picked. Your okay. turn, sir. Ah, my turn. <laughs> Snap. Like, is it a must that we put the, like, you know. Your mouth? I know. Yes, it's a must. It's a yeah. must. Yes. Wow. The lady has done her best to clean it for you. You ready? Hey, I don't know. We believe. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is it going to show us it, Joe? It's no issues. I know she does. Go. Go. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh. Go, go, go. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Good job! 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 Good job!
that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, wow. And, and the winner is oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. why you wanted yeah. to go last year. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I just had to know. He wanted to know the competition. Yeah. And you see, not even that. I feel like when he watched all of us, he saw, okay, mistake one, year, mistake two, mistake I think it's the distance. Yeah. Because now, yeah. You just take one step. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Squat you want today. I feel like you have such. Um, in-depth answers on some of the questions which people just answer just anyhow oh, really? yeah. um, and as far as wow. you know we Eloquent. always want to bring um, our audience like you know valid advice on how to you know just do the best they can in their own life mm -hmm. um, they somebody right now yeah. they're young they're broke they want to be a producer of yeah. course now be if before it was like x 3k now, now the panda, right? it's, it's, mm. so yeah. how do they go about it and especially in this climate where unemployment is rife yeah Okay, th there's something that I always say. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I've always had this philosophy. I don't think the issue is money. Mm -hmm. The issue is your vision. Mm -hmm. If you have a vision that is well described, it's going to be easy for me to meet it. Mm -hmm. Because I live, as I said, I live according to my purpose. And my mm -hmm. purpose is to bridge people from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. And whatever that I do, it's aligned to that purpose. So if mm -hmm. you have a vision and a purpose, mm -hmm. then it will attract the things that you need to facilitate that vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than ones that uh, uh, no, just have a vision, mm -hmm. then follow whoever that you want. Because yeah. if that person is supposed to be in your plan, mm -hmm. it will always be aligned. And mm -hmm. also, I love affirming myself. There's a verse in the Bible that says, my, my path is fallen on pleasant places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether I have money now, I don't have money now. Mm -hmm. The thing is, get ready. It's because true. when that opportunity wow. comes, yeah. mm -hmm. you need to, if you are told, okay, imbas are easy, mm -hmm. you need to impress that person. Yeah. It's so, so it's not about money. You're if right. they are broke mm -hmm. and they have a vision, mm -hmm. that vision will attract that money. They need. You said three words I always use, attract, align, and affirm. So we're going to wow. talk more about that. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> if you have not learned something today, I don't know. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. Um, we, we absolutely appreciate you for being here. We, wow. This has been an amazing guest. Thank we hope you. you feel inspired. And he's going to say his social media platforms in a minute. So you'll get to follow him and ask him personal questions yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. And um, we appreciate you. Until tomorrow at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. my name is Lydia KM. And that's Lydia KM on all social media handles. My name is Dana DeGrazia. It's Hustle Goddess Online. My name is Naomi Wamboy, W-A-M-B-O-E, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And I am Joanne at yummymummy.ke on social. And you are, sir? Uh, my name is St. P on social mm -hmm. media, St. P Kenya. All right. Amazing. Thank you. Have an amazing night. Bye. Until tomorrow.